Hi everyone, this is Michelle with Mythfit Food Productions. Um, I was given a very fun and interesting challenge today. The challenge was to go through my house and find household items and put them together to represent a color wheel. So I've been doing that and I'm going to issue that challenge to my students or anybody who is watching that. What is a color wheel? We're about to learn color wheel and color theory right now. Okay, so what is a color wheel? A color wheel is a way of organizing colors and a circle to show the relationship between primary colors, secondary colors, and intermediate colors. Primary colors are your colors from which all other colors can be derived. So, my red is a primary color. And another interesting fact about primary colors is that there's nothing out there that can be mixed to make that color. So there's nothing out there I can mix to make my red. Blue. I love my blue shoes. Um, blue is a primary color. And there's nothing I can mix if I'm painting to make blue. Same with yellow. Now, in this color wheel, there's also secondary colors. What are secondary colors? Secondary colors are what I make if I mix two primary colors together. So if I mix red and yellow together, I get my orange OSU sweater. If I mix red and blue together, I get purple. My students know this is my favorite color. If I mix blue and yellow together, I get green. Now also on a color wheel, you can show intermediate colors, sometimes also called territory colors, but I never pronounced that correctly. Um, so if you look, uh, intermediate color is when I take a secondary color and mix it with a primary color. So if you look here, I have my green weed killer and my yellow, um, that's, that yellow face was actually a uh, art project in one of my classes. If I take those two colors and I mix them together, I get my lime green weight. Again, over here, I take my yellow and I mix it with my secondary orange, I get yellow orange. I get my, I take my orange and I mix it with my red. I get this beautiful orangey red color. If I take my red and mix it with my blue, I get this beautiful little scarf, which is kind of a reddish blue. And if I take my purple and my blue, I should get a purplish blue color. And that, my friends, is what you call a color wheel. And your challenge is to go through your house and find a red object, a blue object, a yellow object, an orange object, a purple object, and a green object. And if you can find intermediate colors, grab them, put them together, assemble them in a circle, put them in proper order, take a picture and send it to me. So I'm really not sure how all of this is going to work. Um, not being in my classroom, not being face-to-face -face with my students does have its challenges, but teachers are resilient. We find ways to monitor and adjust. We are constantly monitoring and adjusting. Um, I miss my students. I miss y'all a lot and I hope y'all are watching. I hope y'all send me pictures of your artwork and we can continue on with our art lessons no matter what. I can't wait until we're back at school. I really can't. This is a fun challenge that I just presented you all. Do it. It gets you all some exercise, which, you know, anybody who's been in my classroom knows that fitness to me is a, a big deal. So this gives you a chance to get up and move. It took me probably about an hour and a half to put the whole thing together. And like I said, I went to my house and I realized I don't really have a whole lot of warm colors. I have a lot of purples, I have a lot of blues, and surprisingly, a lot of green, which really does surprise me. Um, but it gave me a chance to get up and move, get some steps in, get some exercise, and do an art project. How awesome is that? So do this, get back to me, let's have fun. Even though we're in quarantine, we're still gonna have fun and do art and feed our passion. So until, our next lesson, our next challenge, stay busy, try to stay happy. I hope to see y'all soon.
拜。